Hello, this is a new tutorial about how to structure your architectural design, which is of uh, hundreds, thousands, ten thousands, uh, a million of objects. And uh, you easily get confused and uh, disorganized. So if you don't keep a care, take care on uh, how to structure your elements. And one of that is uh, the concept of parents and childs or grouping things. And you will have a look uh, of how it works. Now add, uh, add an object, so it's our cube. So we say always this is our prototype uh, one. This cube has a certain design and this design is in uh, this database. And we should say this is the uh, mesh one. So we have put that one, mesh one. So we also can apply a certain material in our material database. It's aubergine, for example. Get uh, the principal BSD as go for aubergine. Okay look at it. So now we have this hierarchy here, architecture, design, material, in different, three different orthogonal databases. Now <coughs> look what happens. So if we say option D in X direction, so we get another instance. Therefore we name that, that's good, and we inherit mesh and have links to the mesh database and we have links to the uh, material database inherit that so do it a second time <coughs> in y direction so here we are so again this links to the one element in the other uh, databases so they are individual objects if we want to keep them as a cluster or as a group what group is another concept in blender so then we have to establish a parent object so for example if these are the furnitures uh, in, a, in, a, in a kitchen or the buildings on a block then you want to keep that have a concept of the block or the kitchen and we establish that. And I suggest to do it uh, with, uh, keep an eye on where is your uh, 3D cursor and where's your entry point, and then make an empty object. Give it there, which has no graphics, but uh, a, 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 a proxy. And we call that, uh, this is our set uh, one. So, we now simply can move, drag, we can go back, move an object underneath the set. We can do it with the other ones, or we can say, no, oh, okay, do it. Well, and that. And now we have this set. And uh, if we select the set and move it, the whole set is moved. So we have a concept of a set. If we select a single object, then we are moving within the set. If we go back to the set, we move the set. If we want to <coughs> uh, select, if we have the set here, and we select all childs of this parent, then we have control P, no, uh, shift, uh, shift G, and then select group and we say select all the children. Then we have that. We don't have selected the set, so G children, so we have to select that as well. And then we can make a copy of that. So shift D and make a copy of uh, this thing. Okay, 
now we have two sets if we want to keep that uh, as a whole as a whole thing then again go for look for the, the insertion point select the whole story and say this is our insertion point add an empty object say that is a superset and put these sets underneath that if i move that the whole thing is moving if i go here then this is moving if i go here then this is moving go back to the superset this is moving so fine this is what in principle you need to know now a short remark on the on the coordinates of parents and childs so go here for uh, the thing go now <clears throat> if we have uh, children set that um, so put it somewhere so what we have is that uh, <clears throat> the insertion point here our empty object has certain coordinates so it's uh, if we change that to three the whole group is moving huh? so then the coordinates of each object is in relation to the parent object of so each child is in relation to that so you see 001 the set is 530 so it's five this guy here is 531 so this is 301 and this is 34 minus 31 so all this is in relation to this insertion point of uh, the parent so if i delete the parent then the whole thing moves by the negative of this vector or rotation or scale so therefore if i delete this parent they all move so this is a little confusing but it's very uh, useful by that we can keep the group and well let's, let's look whether this is working yes you can uh, move the group and this only changes the coordinates of the parent object so go here for for the parent object and the child's keep completely stable the same with uh, rotation so if you rotate the whole thing by 40 to 45 degrees then it's rotating along the uh, parent if i um, delete delete the parent this empty object then the whole thing gets to its insertion point so that's with the coordinates there's another story i think which conceptually is uh, is wrong so you can do parenting with any object to any object so and uh, therefore for example what they all do in all the tutorial and which is very uh, smooth within the within the interfaces is so if you select then this is an an active object and if you select the second one and this is active this is selected and now this is active and these two are selected now you can say a uh, control p and then you say uh, get the selected objects parented by uh, the active object and you see the active object now is on the on the right side it's uh, 002 and this gets now the parent 
So as we discussed before, which means because all they are they are all uh, uh, selected. So if we select this guy here and we move, the others are moving. If we select this one, we are inside the this uh, hierarchy and then we are moving relative to the parent. The same with this. If I select this, I move the whole thing. So by that, the conception of who is uh, uh, what is a group, what is a part of it and so on is not working. So I'm, I'm not happy with that. This might work if you, for example, say um, we go here for for a plane, scale it by five. So this is a ground, and uh, these objects are part of it. And um, so now uh, let's get rid of this prototype. So get them. So maybe this, so this is a kind of package and these are part of the package and they uh, put them to zero, oops, put them to zero, him to zero as well. So then this is the idea of a package. So, and then you can say, okay, this is a package and then we have these two and uh, this now is the active and to select it and then go for parenting objects so then we have the package and then it might work so that you have a certain object which is intuitively grouping uh, the others and then you're moving on top of it but normally i think in architecture this is not the proper way so all these group and these hierarchies they are abstract and only the the very end of these hierarchies are instances of objects inherited from the other structure we discussed uh, before so never this um, in, in my understanding this is a conceptual mistake never mix it up so you have abstract hierarchies and you have uh, real uh, elements uh, at the end of the of the hierarchy don't mix it up, it will be a mess in the long term. Okay, that's about parenting in Blender. Thanks for watching. See you with the next movie.